السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد My dear brothers and sisters, we will continue today with the family sessions and the ayat that we are taking today inshallah from Surah Al-Waqi'ah starting from verse number uh, 15 up to verse number uh, 26. Uh, yesterday we finished up to verse number 14 uh, and today inshallah ta'ala will start from 15 up to 26 inshallah ta'ala. And the reason that we will stop at 26 today is the ayah or verse number 26 completes the description of the blessings of the sabiqeen or the muqarrabeen, the highest group in Jannah. Uh, that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make all of us uh, from among this group inshallah azza wa jal so I'm starting today inshallah uh, from verse number 15 all the way up to number 26 and by the way most of the ayat or some of the ayat that we are taking today uh, were already explained yesterday uh, so we're not going to repeat that explanation we'll go over them very quickly and finish the explanation of the rest of the ayat that talk about the group of the Muqarrabeen, the closest ones to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, as usual, inshallah azza wa jal, I'm going to read the ayat, and I'm going to leave a period of time between the verse and the following one, so you will be, inshallah, able, you will be able, inshallah, to uh, repeat and to get the uh, correct pronunciation of the ayah, uh, so we get the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we memorize it, inshallah, in a proper manner. And let me tell you something about memorization. The Quran is, like, is not like any other book. The Quran is not like any other Arabic text, which means that uh, what makes the Quran easy to memorize is to read it according to the rules of recitation. If we read the Quran according to the rules of recitation, subhanAllah, the, the, the tajweed rules, we will, inshallah, be it will, it will be easy for us to memorize it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ And indeed, we have made the Quran easy for remembrance. Is, is there anyone that will remember and will benefit from that? وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ so what will make the Qur'an easy to memorize is to make sure that we're following the rules of recitation of the Qur'an. So inshallah, um, repeat after me these ayat from 15 up to 26, and we will go over the meaning, inshallah ta'ala, and we read them again as usual, inshallah azza wa jal. A'udhu billahi min ash rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم على سرور موضونة متكئين عليها متقابلين يطوف عليهم ولدان مخلدون بأكواب وأباريق وكأس من معين لا يصدعون عنها ولا ينزفون وفاكهة مما يتخيرون ولحم طير مما يشتهون
وحور عين كأمثال اللؤلؤ المكنون جزاء بما كانوا يعملون لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا تأثيما إلا قيلا سلاما سلاما So this is up to ayah number 26 from this surah. I'm going to read them again without leaving a period of time between the verse and the following one. So inshallah ta'ala, we uh, follow that and we try to correct our uh, pronunciation and we read the Quran according to the rules of recitation inshallah azza wa A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم على سرر موضونة متكئين عليها متقابلين يطوف عليهم ولدان مخلدون بأكواب وأباريق وكأس من معين لا يصدعون عنها ولا ينزفون وفاكهة مما يتخيرون ولحم طير مما يشتهون وحور عين كأمثال اللؤلؤ المكنون جزاء بما كانوا يعملون لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا تأثيما إلا قيلا سلاما سلاما uh, <coughs> إن شاء الله we'll go over the meaning of the ayat and um, if I remember correctly Yesterday, we finished the explanation of the verses until verse number 19 from this uh, surah, which is لا يصدعون عنها ولا ينزفون. But very quickly, from the beginning of the description of the benefits and the blessings, the, uh, the pleasures, and all the good things, the beautiful things in Jannah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had uh, prepared for the muqarrabin, uh, let's look at ayah number uh, 15. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ala sururim mawduna. You remember that. You remember surur mawduna. The thrones or the beds that are woven with the gold, with the ornaments, with all kinds of beautiful decoration. Something that is really amazing. Something that there is no comparison to it. We cannot compare it to any beds or any thrones or any kind of these things in this world it's beyond our imagination and Allah describes those who are on these on those beds and those uh, thrones by saying that they are reclining on these beds and thrones and they are facing each other enjoying the conversation with each other they will completely forget about what happened in this world and what they had of the problems and the fights and uh, arguments and, and, and disagreements and hated discussions and all kinds of things that will be completely forgotten in Jannah. Even if they remember these things, they will start wondering and they will be um, laughing and saying, 
how come we used to get involved in these things after seeing the great reward in Jannah, they will think that what they were doing in this world was absolutely um, something that is not appropriate. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had rewarded them with the best of what their good actions and righteous deeds. And in ayah number 17, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَطُوفُ عَلَيْهِمْ وِلْدَانٌ مُخَلَّدُونَ That those are the uh, special servants that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, created for the people in Jannah to serve them and to offer them whatever they want. Not only what they need, but what they want. What they want with the blessings, the enjoyments. He says, بِأَكْوَابٍ بِأَكْوَابٍ وَأَبَارِيقًا وَكَأْسٍ مِّنْ مَعِينٍ Vessels, pitchers, and cup of wine. And as I uh, said yesterday, that the wine in Jannah will be free from all harmful aspects. There will be only the, the, the enjoyment, uh, the, 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 the delicious taste of the wine that they enjoy it in Jannah without any harmful aspects. And in ayah number 19, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا يصدعون عنها ولا ينزفون confirming the meaning of the previous ayah that this wine does not have the harmful aspects which we have in this world as far as headache and also drowsiness or being intoxicated that will not exist in the wine uh, in Jannah subhanallah al -Azim. ayah number 20 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the fruits and if you recall my dear brothers and sisters and children and youth that in Surah Al-Rahman Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also talks about the fruits in Jannah uh, different types of fruits and as explained before that the fruits of Jannah what is common between the fruits in Jannah and the fruits in this world is only the name apple apple oranges oranges that's it but um, as far as the taste as far as the color as far as the size, everything is completely different. And subhanAllah, imagine with the fruits that we have in this world, yeah, subhanAllah, uh, you might have the same exact taste of the same fruit every single day. Whenever you get apple today, you eat it, and you get it tomorrow, you eat it. It's the same taste. But in Jannah, every day, the taste will be much better than the day before it. Every time you eat the fruit, subhanAllah, it gets tastier and tastier. It gets more tasty and more tasty, subhanAllah. More delicious and more delicious. It says, وَفَاكِهَةٍ مِمَّا يَتَخَيَّرُونَ And fruit of what they select. وَلَحْمِ طَيِّرٍ مِمَّا يَشْتَهُونَ And the meat of fowl from whatever they desire. All kinds of meat. They eat it even... Um, I read this before about one of the um, uh, narrations and descriptions of the Jannah that the person will look at a certain type of bird that he likes to eat this meat. It will be prepared and will be offered to the person without asking for it. And it will uh, be presented to him, will be offered to him. He will eat from it and again it will Fly. Again, this is one of the narrations and uh, uh, looking at all the descriptions of the blessings of Jannah, that might be, uh, that might be something uh, true. Because in Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, مَا تَشْتَهِيهِ الْأَنفُسِ وَتَلَذُّ الْأَعْيُنِ وَأَنْتُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ يعني, Whatever you desire, whatever you wish, whatever you want, Whatever your eyes will, will like to see, you will see that in Jannah, subhanAllah. Even more than this, even beyond that, beyond our imagination. And the Prophet ﷺ, and he confirmed this in his hadith, فِيهَا مَا لَا عَيْنٌ رَأَتْ وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمِعَتْ وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَرْ Can you imagine that? مَا لَا عَيْنٌ رَأَتْ In Jannah, there are blessings that no eyes had ever seen no eyes had ever seen human beings angels i mean name it no eyes had ever seen even 
regardless of what you hear about blessings and pleasures and good things in Jannah, it is beyond that. Wala khatra ala qalbi bashar. Even think and go with your imagination, with your thinking as far as you want. Subhanallah, Jannah is still beyond that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also described the blessings of the owner of the two gardens in Surah Ar-Rahman, وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ He describes also قَاصِرَاتُ uh, uh, the pure and beautiful spouses. Here in this surah, he is confirming this meaning. وَحُورٌ عِينٌ كَأَمْثَالِ اللُّؤْلُؤِ الْمَكْنُونَ That those spouses, they will be, the likeness of them is similar to the pearls that will protect it. Imagine if you have pearls, this very precious stone, and you keep it in a well-protected place. That's exactly how they look like in, in Jannah, the spouses in Jannah, subhanAllah. Allah says, concluding the ayat and the blessings of the muqarrabin, He says, jaza'an bima kanu ya'malun. Here in this ayah, let's reflect on the meaning, over the meaning of this ayah, and see what it means. It says, a reward for what they used to do. Subhanallah. A reward for what they used to do. Yani, whatever we're doing in this world, as far as uh, the salah, uh, reading Quran, uh, obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, giving in a charity, uh, fasting, the month of Ramadan, inshallah, is approaching, is coming, and being having good manners, uh, saying the truth, being honest, all these kind of things, these are actions and deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, jaza'an bima kanu ya'malun. It's a reward for what they used to do. But my dear brothers and sisters, Wallahi subhanallah, if we look at our actions and our deeds, they cannot even repay for one blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given us in this world. Just one blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given us in this world. If we compare one of these blessings to um, all our actions and our deeds, we will not be able to pay for that. So actually, when we get Jannah, and when we get that blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Akhirah, uh, the hereafter, and the blessings in Jannah, all these things, subhanAllah, they are from the bounties of Allah. They are from the generosity of Allah. It's not because of our actions and deeds, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, yani, is, is, is trying to give us the impression that He is appreciating what we are doing. He is appreciating our actions and our deeds. He says, the jaza'an bima kanu ya'malun. Subhanallah, just a very interesting story about um, yani, uh, the, the concept of that or the meaning that our actions and our deeds will not be paying for only one blessing that we have in this world. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned the story of a person that worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 500 years. Imagine someone is in complete and perfect obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 500 years. What do you expect? The reward of this person. Of course, he has done a lot to the point that this person uh, uh, isolated himself from his uh, village or his city, he went out and he lived by himself in, in, a, in a very, uh, in a remote place and was just dedicating every single minute of his life to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was dedicating and devoting his time to Allah's worship all the time, subhanAllah. And what he used to eat, uh, there was just a, a, a fruit tree that grew in that place. He was eating from this fruit. It is said that it was a, a pomegranate uh, tree. And there was a spring of water. So he was just drinking from the water and eating from this fruit and dedicating the entire uh, time, the whole time, the whole life to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then this person passed away. So... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the angels, my angels, take this servant of mine to Jannah by my mercy and my bounty and my grace. 
خذوا عبدي إلى الجنة بفضلي يعني it's a mercy from me it's a blessing from me that I'm granting him Jannah so that servant of Allah said oh Allah no how come I'm going to Jannah by your mercy I am going to Jannah because of my actions I deserve it in other words I deserve it I deserve the Jannah I have worshipped you 500 years so when I go to Jannah it's because of my actions it's not because of your bounty and graces so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said okay let's hold the account let's see um, what kind of blessings that you had in the world and how much um, actions how many good deeds and righteous actions that you have performed and let's weigh them against each other and see exactly what you owe me and what I owe you then subhanallah they got the scale and they weigh only one blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given to this person the blessing that is weighed against all the righteous actions and the good deeds was the blessing of hearing the hearing function that we have and how important this hearing function for us and how is it a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have this hearing function and subhanallah the hearing function or the blessing of hearing was heavier than all the righteous and the good deeds that this person had performed during the 500 years can you imagine that remember it's only one blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminded him with it's only one blessing the blessing of the hearing how about the other blessings eyesight the blessing of speech the blessing of the fruit the blessing of the water the blessing of the body and so many blessings in our life my dear brothers and sisters we cannot even count them if you try to count one blessing that Allah had given you you will not be able to count it one blessing it has so many sub blessings underneath it so when this happened <laughs> then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him now you your actions and your deeds in 500 years did not pay for the blessing of hearing just one blessing and you still owe so many things so now you do not have any um, privilege you do not have any um, qualification to go to Jannah so Allah told his angels my angels take this servant of mine to the hellfire according to my justice now you did not want in the beginning to be treated with the mercy and the compassion and the grace and the bounty from Allah now you want to be treated with justice I'm dealing with you now with justice and now here you go this is the result the man said oh Allah I am going to Jannah by your mercy and by your blessings by your graces by your bounties I am not going to Jannah by my actions my actions and my deeds will never qualify me to go to Jannah and he was admitted into Jannah by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, with the last description very beautiful description of a very beautiful blessing in Jannah for those people the Muqarrabeen he says لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا تأثيما إلا قيلا سلاما سلاما that they will not hear in Jannah ill speech or commission of sin in Jannah all the speech all the words are good no one is going to say bad words no one is going to curse no one is going to um, uh, insult no one is going to backbite no one is going to lie all the speech and all the words in Jannah will be absolutely very good words Allah says لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا تأثيما إلا قيلا سلاما سلاما peace peace in Jannah when they want anything they will just say سبحانك اللهم glory be to you O Allah and the angels will bring to them whatever they, they want 
and then they say salamu alaykum wa tahiyyatuhum fiha salam and when they eat they praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they say wa akhiru da'wa Allah says wa akhiru da'wahum alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin and when they eat they praise Allah and they say praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the lord of the world subhanallah alazim so my dear brothers and sisters i hope that we get just the sum of the descriptions of the benefits and the blessings of the muqarrabin in jannah and as we're saying all the time we inshallah ta'ala try our best to be from the group of the muqarrabin inshallah azzawajal inshallah i'm going to read again from the beginning of the surah up to ayah number 26 and i'm going to read it without leaving a period of time between the verse and the following one so you can follow me inshallah ta'ala and you recall the memorization and you review it and then you will confirm your memorization inshallah azzawajal <clears throat> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا وقعت الواقعة ليس لوقعتها كاذبة خافضة رافعة إذا رجت الأرض رجا وبست الجبال بسا فكانت هباء منبثا وكنتم أزواجا ثلاثة فأصحاب الميمنة ما أصحاب الميمنة وأصحاب المشأمة ما أصحاب المشأمة والسابقون السابقون أولئك المقربون في جنات النعيم ثلة من الأولين وقليل من الآخرين على سرر موضونة متكئين عليها متقابلين يطوف عليهم ولدان مخلدون بأكواب وأباريق وكأس من معين لا يصدعون عنها ولا ينزفون وفاكهة مما يتخيرون ولحم طير مما يشتهون وحور عين كأمثال اللؤلؤ المكنون جزاء بما كانوا يعملون لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا تأثيما إلا قيلا سلاما سلاما إن شاء الله this is up to ayah number 26 and I hope that we will be uh, إن شاء الله able to memorize these ayat and to confirm our memorization and we seek the reward from Allah سبحانه وتعالى uh, أسأل الله عز وجل أن ينفعنا بالقرآن وأن يجعلنا من أهل القرآن وخاصته we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the true followers of the Qur'an. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who listen to the words and follow the best of them. Jazakumullahu khairan. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu laik. Wal asr. Inna al-insana la fi khusr. Illa al-lazina amanu wa amilu al-salihat. Wa tawasaw bil-haqqi. Wa tawasaw bil-sabr. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.